The latest safe state community for those who are homeless in Vancouver getting a great upgrade. The goal is to make the village feel a little bit more like a home for the people and also their pets. Brandon Thompson is live there tonight going beyond the headlines with how these improvements will really help. Brandon. Well, yeah, Todd, the goal is to improve this facility and hopefully improve outcomes for people who are transitioning out of homelessness as well. It gives them a place to be proud of and a place to be together with some of the few living things they may still have. Having a place to call home. And everyone deserves home and a space that feels comfortable and safe and inviting. It means a lot more when you have a place to be proud of we are doing a day of service to kind of beautify this stay safe community. And the ones closest to you, human or otherwise. When you build spaces that inspire dignity, you empower people to make those next steps. The pod homes at the Kiggins Village Safe Stay community in Vancouver getting front porches and a dog run today. <laughs> nailing down a space for people who are homeless and the dogs that make sure they don't have to go through it alone. We see people who will self-select out of certain types of programming because they cannot bring their family, their pets, with them. Because in so many instances, these individuals have lost almost everything. And when they can keep that pet with them, who means everything to them, when they can stay together, that's going to benefit their emotional well-being, their health. It's going to give them an additional sense of stability. This is the fourth and latest safe stay community in Vancouver, serving 40 people since it opened in December. The area around the first of the city's safe stay communities experienced a decrease in crime in its first year. The program is part of the city's effort to build a permanent shelter site and safe park sites around the community. We need to just, you know, find ways to build housing as quick as possible permanent or transitional. Providing a variety and a continuum, you allow folks to start where they're at, to start to build trust in, in the process, and then be able to find those next steps. One day allowing people to step into a home of their own. So there is no timeline on the city's bridge shelter to open, though the city council did budget money for a second safe park site to open in the city later this year. Live in Vancouver, Brandon Thompson, Coin6 News.